Hey everyone, so Sony last week announced two new mid-range devices, the Xperia M5 and the Xperia C5 Ultra. Now, although these are mid-range phones, I actually think that they're two of the most exciting phones that Sony's announced in a really long time. Uh, so I'll just show you guys the C5 Ultra really quickly. You see here it has a 6 inch 1080p screen display and it's nearly bezel has very small borders surrounding it. So Sony, they haven't announced a large phone like this in a long time. Um, and also, this is the first of their phones that has a nearly bezel-less border. So I'm excited to see what they can do with this. Hopefully, we'll be seeing in the Z series shortly. Now, in my opinion, even more exciting than the uh, C5 Ultra is the M5. So I'll just go over some of the specs on this really quickly. So it has a 5-inch 1080p screen display, 2 gigahertz uh, octa-core processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, also supports micro SD card support, uh, 2600 mAh battery. Sony claims that this will last around two days. Uh, it's waterproof with capless USB support, similar to the Z3 Plus, and it's going to be launching mid-August in uh, black, silver, and gold colors. Now that alone for a mid-range phone is pretty impressive, but the big selling point is the cameras. So you can see here, the front facing camera is 13 megapixels, and the main camera, this is the biggest selling point, 21.5 megapixels. Uh, that's more than any Sony phone to date. Even the uh, most recent Z phone, the Z3 Plus, that's only 20.7 megapixels. Uh, but even more than the megapixels, it also has hybrid autofocus, uh, five times clear image zoom, which allows you to zoom in really close without losing any quality. Uh, 0.25 second hybrid autofocus. And along with a lot of the stuff that we've seen before, like 4K video, HDR, steady shot. So I really want to test out this camera. Uh, Sony, they're obviously, of course, they're known for their cameras. But they haven't been improving the Z series camera as much as a lot of us have been hoping for. So I'm, I'm really surprised to see that they have what looks to be the most advanced camera on a mid-range phone. Generally, I wouldn't buy any non-Z series Sony phones, but I really want to test out this camera. And especially if you guys want to see this, so like if any of you are planning on buying this phone, um, that would definitely help influence my decision. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably buy the phone for a few months and just test out the camera, do a ton of videos, comparison videos, all that stuff, uh, and then sell it after that. So let me know what you guys think. Like if any of you guys are seriously considering buying this, then that would definitely help influence my decision. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Just please leave a comment below.